It seems Netflix can do no wrong. A uh, rocket ride for its shares after uh, the video streaming service tops earning expectations. Here's Mike Apple. If we can tear him away from watching Netflix right now. Narks, what are you watching on Netflix right now? I'm waiting for House of Cards to come back. Yeah, yeah. I'll say that. I mean, you know what? I just I don't have time. I love all these video streaming services. I love my PVR. And I'm so backlogged with shows that I have yet to catch up to about two years back. It's just... You can watch it's a off. anything. It's a write -off for me. There's too much choice. You know yes. what? There's too much choice. Yes. I think once you start getting it now, what I'm seeing now are more of these individual streaming services pop up for just certain genres. For instance, mm -hmm. I've I've uh, I've uh, subscribed to what's called Curiosity Stream. So it's nothing but documentaries about, about science and nature, and, and that it's <laughs> it's very interesting. So that's if, another if one. You for have you. the time. I I, I just. What do you mean I, I have the time? I, Wait a minute, no, Apple. If, Hold I'm just on, that man. Is that if, a shot? Is that if. a shot? I said if <laughs> qualifier, because I, I keep reading about oh, these great shows. Yeah, you know, are out there, and I'm like, and and it's and it's this 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 regret you almost get, Kevin, that you're you're not keeping up with your friends who are watching all this stuff. And I and I don't care about spoilers, by the way. You can tell me anything that's going on. I think I, I watched the last episode of Mad Men, never having seen a previous episode, and that was just fine with me. Anyway, <laughs> you were talking about how Netflix uh, knocked it out of the park, as opposed to the Jays in the latest quarter um, and, and, and again when you talk tech it's all about what have you done for me today and what Netflix did last night with its earnings three and a half million more subscribers now prior to this Netflix was kind of meandering around a little bit they had uh, seen slowing subscriber growth numbers still growing but at a slower pace than investors had expected and prior to today the stock for 2016 was down 12 percent uh, today it's going to be up above break even for 2016 with a gain pre-market right now of 20 percent so a massive move for Netflix already this morning indicated at 119 dollars per share we're also looking at some news in from Ford Motor Company this morning, and this is interesting for the entire auto industry, which had been going for so many months and, in fact, years at record-breaking production and sales. But earlier this summer, the Ford Motor Company in the States warned, slow down just a little bit, tap the brakes. Might be hitting a saturation point. Do people need to buy a new car and or truck every six months? Probably not. So Ford is actually seeing a backlog of inventory for some of its popular uh, U.S. sales. And of note, the F-150 pickup truck, it's, uh, it's been a good seller. But again, they're starting to scale back production or at least idling production at four U.S. or three U.S. factories and two in Mexico that uh, produce the F-150, the Ford Escape, Ford Fusion, several other vehicles, just to, uh, again, hit the brakes a little bit, just for a week or two to alleviate a backlog of inventory. Ford here in Canada starts contract negotiations with Unifor coming up today. Volkswagen will be back in court in the States. San Francisco judge looking over the uh, tentative settlement that was agreed to back in July. $10 billion is what uh, VW agreed to pay various owners for, almost half a million U.S. owners of diesel vehicles with emissions issues. But the actual repair has yet to be approved approved by the, the U.S. government, so that's a problem. Some owners just say, VW, buy back my car. We're talking about the same thing here in Canada, no resolution as of yet. IBM, a huge company, it's been around for generations, came oh so close to sort of turning around the ship in the latest quarter. Uh, revenue generation numbers showing improvement, but not enough for investors who have been looking at a four-year downdraft on IBM's overall earnings, uh, stock down about 3.5% in pre-market trade. Good start to the day on morning markets. We're looking at uh, gains pretty much across the board. Johnson & Johnson has just raised its guidance for the, in, uh, the fiscal year. It's a huge consumer products company obviously bellwether for wall street bellwether for consumer spending specifically in the states dow futures up about 70 points looking at the price for oil right now holding about 50 dollars a barrel still waiting though for opec to sign off on that idea to uh, cut production later this year canadian dollar finally breaking out of a trading pattern which had it languishing below 76 cents Moving higher, 76 and a half cents right now, 34 one hundredths of a cent to the positive, exchange rate at $1.30. Kevin, back to you. I'm heading back to the desk to go and <laughs> All right. watch whatever I haven't watched yet. Exactly. But uh, you know what? I'll just keep watching BT. All right, there you go. All <laughs> right, back in my good books.